I'm sorry for the people of Western Kenya. You have to look for another outfit. I don't know if Natembea will be one of the outfit, but uh, I'm sorry that Natembea can be a project from UDA. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't see if Natembea can give leadership. Leadership is not about bullying and saying na futo ekazu na futa nani. Wewe well, ulipatika na japo na kumisa. That docket you are given politically. Can you respect professionals? Yeah, Mr. President, Kenyans are suffering not because at your when kale uko kwa power. Even challenges are suffering as we are talking now. The economy is unbearable. Look at it. One month, no solution for Dr. St you came to power with the agenda of bettering the life of Kenyans. You have to change and bring in, especially your cabinet is not working for Kenyans. All cabinets are dwarfed. They don't know what they're doing. The CS permanent secretaries are just there. We don't know what they're doing in the office. Problem all over. Look at the insecurity rates. Kenyans are dying out here. Look at the, the hospitals. People are dying in the hospitals. So if you don't die there of, out of crime, you go to the hospital, you are sick, you are still dying. And if you are not dying in the hospital, you are dying out of anger. Where, which, what, what type of leadership is this one? Tumefanya Kenya imeenda Haiti. Kenya sio yenu. Kenya is bigger than all of you. You must respect Kenyans. And my opinion cannot be opinion. You have to respect me. Bana angalia hivu sema tu ni mtu tu anaongea. Habari ya wa Kenya. Nyasubu njema ambao ni mwona ya kwamba nikaeze kuwasalimia tena na kuelekeza kusiana na demokrasia ambao niko katika nchi ya Kenya. Kwa majina naitua Benson Sande Baresia, niliwania kiticha ubunge cha Nakuru Town West. Na vile ambavo nimeona Kenya vile inaendelea sahi, hakuna future ya siyasa. What I'm seeing here, I'm seeing democracy being mutilated. Or be, is, what you're seeing is a mockery of democracy. When the UDA fraternity is trying to fold all the parties within the UDA coalition, it is tantamount to tragedy because I don't see where we are going now as a, as a nation. People like Musadia Mudavadi, Moses Wasika Wetangula. What happened? I thought you were championing the affairs of Bukuzus and, and uh, Maragolis. Yeah? Where are the lawyers fraternity? You want lawyers to follow you with your fake kind of decision you are making. That's why they are still sticking with the ODM there. You guys are not reliable. If you want to fold ANC for UDA, you fold or fold Kenya for UDA to survive in parliament, to survive with your so-called prime minister, the prime post, post. What are you doing? It seems you are a tumbocrat. You are not representing the affairs of the lawyers. What I know about William Ruto affairs now is to fold all the party and have one single party system that will go take this country back to Nyayo era. I'm sorry for that. But if William Ruto will be democratic enough, he should give space to democracy and respect what our forefathers fought for. If we mutilate the constitution that people like Jaramogi Odinga fought for, and the sun has kept the pace, though he has left his exit to, for the AU. We have to make sure we keep the spirit of our forefathers of unity and freedom of, 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 of press. Because as from where I'm seated, the media houses has been suffocated. There is no freedom at all. I'm sorry for the people of Western Kenya. You have to look for another outfit. I don't know if Natembea will be one of the outfit, but uh, I'm sorry that Natembea can be a project from UDA. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't see if Natembea can give leadership. But he's trying by fighting with Angula. That is Bukusa affairs. But what I'm saying to the people of Western Kenya, you have to look for another outfit and another direction that will bring you at par with other leaders in the land. But as for Wetangula and Musalia, I'm sorry, they are a big letdown to this country. God bless Kenya. On the issues here, Daktari, they have right to go to on strike. You don't have right to sack anybody. All Kenyans have rights as it is enshrined in the constitution. Mutu Kigoma muskize. Leadership is not about bullying and saying in nafuto ekazu, nafuta nani. Wewe ulipatika na japo, nakumisa. That docket you are given politically, can you respect professionals? Yeah, Mr. President, Kenyans are suffering not because at your when Kale uko kwa power, even challenges are suffering as we are talking now. The economy is unbearable. Look at it. 
One month, no solution for doctor strike. Where do you think Kenyans are going? Yeah? You have already suffocated the opposition is in bed with you. They are calling for mandamano, but they are not passionate about it. Yeah? Get to be serious. If you are opposing the government, tell the government, this is the way. If you are in the government, do the right thing. We are not interested with your power. You took power to better the lives of Kenya. But what we are seeing today, it is an opposite of better in the life of Kenya. Yeah? To end there, let's go back to basics. What brought you to power? You came to power with the agenda of bettering the life of Kenyans. You have to change and bring in, especially your cabinet is not working for Kenyans. All cabinets are dwarfed. They don't know what they are doing. The CS permanent secretaries are just there. We don't know what they are doing in the office. Problem all over. Look at the insecurity rates. Kenyans are dying out here. Look at the, the hospitals. People are dying in the hospitals. So if you don't die there of, out of crime, you go to the hospital, you are sick, you are still dying. And if you are not dying in the hospital, you are dying out of anger. Where, which, what, what type of leadership is this one? To me find Kenya, me enda Haiti. Kiplani. We need to bring back Kenya. Kenya, CEO Yenu. Kenya is bigger than all of you. You must respect Kenyans. And my opinion cannot be opinion. You have to respect me. I'm speaking in the capacity of a leader in this country. If given this country, Kenya has the capacity of toppling the economy in Africa. But because of you people don't have don't know your priorities. Kazienu ni kuzurura tu. Wacheni kuzurura udi hapa kama wewe ni kiongozi tengeneza hichi ya Kenya. Pana tengeneza hichi hawa wazungu hapa. Mungu abariki Kenya akomboe Kenya. Amanja. God bless you. Amanja.